Now, WFXR is your local election headquarters. Abortion rights is one of many contentious issues for voters. And this morning, former President Donald Trump announced he would not push a federal abortion ban if elected. Fox News correspondent Rebecca Castor has more on that and what it could mean for his presidential bid. This 50-year battle over Roe v. Wade took it out of the federal hands and brought it into the hearts, minds, and vote of the people in each state it was really something. Now it's up to the states to do the right thing. After Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court case that protected the federal right to an abortion was overturned on his watch. Former President Donald Trump is backing off the divisive issue, saying if he's president again, he'll leave it up to the states to decide their own abortion laws. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks, or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. It's a stark contrast from the national abortion ban some Republicans want to push through Congress. That the Democratic position of no limits anytime, anywhere is out of line with the world. And this is a debate worthy of a great nation. But the president of the Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life Networks says Trump's position cedes the national debate to Democrats who are working relentlessly to enact legislation mandating abortion throughout all nine months of pregnancy. I promise you, with the Democratic Congress, Kamala and I will make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. Recent Fox News poll finds most voters agree with President Biden on this, with a record 59 percent saying abortion should be legal. It's a topic that's won Democrats' election since Roe v. Wade was overturned, and Republicans seem to be realizing they need to change course. In his announcement, former President Trump also reiterated his support for IVF, a procedure facing legal issues after the Alabama Supreme Court ruled frozen embryos could be considered children. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.